Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, can we create objects outside methods in Java? Let me answer. The answer is yes. Not only we can create objects within the methods, but also we can create objects for the classes outside the methods also. There's no problem in that. Java is not going to give you any compiler error, etc. In Java, we can create the objects for a class within the method or outside the method. Doesn't matter. Okay. With practical demonstration, I'm going to prove that. For that, I'll switch to this uh, Eclipse ID. And here, I'll create a new class. I'll just name this class as a uh, sample C. Okay. Just some random name. Click on finish. So this particular class inside this, I'll create some variables and methods in the a is equal to 10, the B is equal to 20, okay, like this. Just give that. And some methods also I'll create, public void, method one. So here I'll uh, write a print statement, system.out.println, inside method one, okay. Similarly, I'll create one more method that is public void, method two. So here I'll write down system.out.println, inside, method two. Okay, like this, I created some two sample variables and methods. And now I'll create one more class. I'll just name this uh, class as demo s. Okay, can give any name. So I'll try to create a main method. Okay. So now for this particular class, for this particular class, if I have to create an object, either I can create an object for this class uh, from outside the class either within the method or outside the method, doesn't matter. Directly under the class, I can create an object for this class or within the method also I can create. First, I'll show you how can I create an object for this class within the method. So it can be main method or any method, it doesn't matter. I'm going to create an object for that method. New sample C, okay, new sample C. Let's see, let's see, I'll say one, okay, is equal to. So I'll just declare this with same thing, okay. You see, I'm able to, create an object for this uh, sample C class within the main method, okay? And using this object reference, and I can access these variables and methods now, as we all, always do that, system.out.println, okay? sc1.a, I can access this variable, and uh, system.out.println, sc1.b, and uh, here I'll say sc1.method1, sc1.method2. Method Okay, like this I can create, that's fine. So next thing here is, uh, you see, I can create object for this uh, particular class within the method, right? And it works fine. I, if I run this code, you see, it will work fine. It will print 10, 20, inside method one, inside method two for us, you see, output came properly. Now, what if the same thing I create outside, okay? I don't want to uh, create the object uh, within the method or outside the method I would like to create. Can I create an object for this class outside this method? directly under the class. Yes, we can do that. New sample C. Okay. And then uh, you just have to complete this object creation statement. Guys, this statement is not enough. Otherwise, you'll get error. So you have to give the object preference and all the error will go off. Okay. So SC is equal to here the name of this class. I'll declare that. Once I declare that, uh, there will not be any error. You see, I'm able to prove you that uh, I can create an object for this particular class outside the methods. I don't have to create an object for the class within the methods, outside the methods I can create. Now, that's fine. I'll create one more method that is public void. Uh, public void. I'll just name this as sample, sample or uh, m1, m1 method or uh, m sample method. Okay, something, just some random name I have to give. And in this, uh, in this method, I would like to access this. Okay, c dot, uh, System.out.println, system.out.println, sc.a. Okay, I can access this variable. So, system.out.println, sc.b, c. I'll call this method method one, fc. method. Even though I created an object uh, outside the methods also, I can, uh, you know, using this object reference, I can access all the members of this class. That is variable sign methods of the class. That's fine. Now, in order for me to run this particular code by calling this method, here, from the main method, I have to call this non-main method. So, but uh, you know, in Java, static methods can only access static stuff, but uh, this method is not a static one. So it's a instance uh, method. 
So for a static method to call an instance method, we have to create an object uh, for the class in which this instance method is available. And using the object reference of this class, I can call this method. Directly, I cannot call. For example, if I say, if I try to call like this, from the main method, if I try to call this, I'm going to get an error saying, it should be static. Otherwise, you cannot call this method, okay? Change uh, yum sample to static, then you can call it. Otherwise, you cannot call it, okay? Otherwise, you cannot call it. So what I will do here is I'll create uh, an object for this uh, demo class, uh, okay? So new demo s. I created an object is by using this object uh, uh, reference. Okay, I can create an object reference if you want. BS is equal to and uh, I'll say demo s. Okay, now BS dot. Uh, what is that method? Yum, yum sampler, uh, yum sample method. Okay, I can call this method. Now, if I run this code, you see everything will work fine. You'll get the same output that is ten twenty. Inside method one, inside method two will come. You see everything is working fine. So we can also create an object for a class outside the methods also, not only in the methods, we can create objects for the classes outside the methods also. Okay. This program proves that. So, and uh, so that's all for this session guys. Okay. So with practical demonstration, I have answered the question for you. Can we create objects outside the methods in Java? The answer is yes, we can do so. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.